Hi, I'm Abby O'Sullivan, and I'm a 2015 Master alum. I graduated from Narragansett Regional High School last year, so now I'm a freshman at WPI. I'm going to start with my favorite Mass Star cheer. Uh, it might be a little tricky with my laptop. Uh, it goes like, it's the Mass Star beat, and it goes like this. Who's got that beat? That Mass Star beat. We've got that beat. That Mass Star beat. It goes... <laughs> All right, now that's uh, managed to not drop my laptop. <laughs> uh, something that brought me back, I've done the facilitator position in 2016, and last year I was in operations. I So I've gotten a little bit of both sides of the conference, and I um, it's really neat to see, but the behind the scenes is in operations, and I, you don't realize how much they actually put into the conference until you're actually there because you can tell everyone all you want about like how much you do but you have to really experience it to be able to um, to be able to see how much they actually put on for the entire conference and I was more involved than I thought I would be which was great because I um, I love the conference and I was able to still listen in to all of the all the speakers that I wanted to and really learn something new every time I go back I learn something new um, and being a facilitator is really nice to just be involved. So both both sides are, um, you get something new out of it every time, regardless of how you're involved with the conference. It always impacts you different way every single time. And every year, I feel like it's a nice reset just to remember how luckily, lucky and fortunate I am to be given the opportunity not only to be a part of MassStar and be involved in the family, but also just in life in general, like how lucky I am to be able to come to uh, come to college and have that opportunity, and how lucky I am to have uh, such a loving family that loves me, and it's because not everyone has that, so it's just a nice reminder that um, not everyone has the same opportunities that I do, and I need to remember to take advantage of those opportunities to give other people um, a voice that don't have one. Uh, one of the key takeaways that I took that I take from Master, I take away something every year. Um, one that stands out to me uh, this year is to always be confident in your abilities because once you learn to believe in yourself, others will follow in your footsteps and learn to trust you. Because you have to, in order to be a leader, you have to have people who trust you that are following, and they have to believe in what you believe in, and it's really hard if you're not confident about what you're telling them. And I've especially learned this this year, bringing it to college with me, because I jumped into crew, which is something I've not done before, but I'm actually a coxswain for the men's team, so I sit in the front and yell at everyone. <laughs> but I don't just yell row, that's what everyone always asks me, but it's been, it's been a little overwhelming to get the hang of but the first month but now I love it because you just you got you have to be confident in what I'm in what you're saying because I'm all the I'm the eyes for all the guys in my boat they if they hear my voice shaking they're not going they're starting to look left and right they're not going to stay together so I've really had to learn how to be confident in what I'm saying and even if I screw up you just got to roll with it because they're they're not going to know. <laughs> They'll follow with me and they trust that if I make a mistake um, that I'll fix it right away. And uh, once you get that bond with the group that you're with, you can go to new heights and it's really going to help. So um, that's it. <laughs>